This is part three of modeling the corridor, which is a train station, in my case, an old train station, for Blender Challenge 8. And in my last video, I modeled uh, a bench. And normally I would leave the texturing till uh, at, at the end when I've done all the modeling, but I wanna see how this is gonna look and how this is gonna work. What I've got is um, the frame here and the seat, and I wanna create the plank appearance on this uh, and put wood on both of those and I'm going to do that in Substance Painter and I want to see how easy it could be because this was easy to model and I want to see how easy it'll be to put textures on this without really doing too much work um, normally on my own I would probably do more work but I want to show you this so um, what we're going to do is we've got this the default material on here I'm going to change the name of this to frame so this has got frame 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 all these parts of frame but this part I'm going to create uh, a new material here and I'm going to call this seat so we got seat there and we got frame on everything else including that okay cool so with that done I'm going to select everything I'm going to switch over to the UV window and let's get rid of anything there and with the, all of that selected i've got a mirror on so the other parts don't appear selected let's try this with the cursor in the window over here let's press u and go to smart uv project let's choose an island margin of 0 0.06 and let blender unwrap it without us doing anything let's try that let's go back to layout and with the bench selected let's save and export this as an FBX and then choose a directory I've got an export directory here and I'm just gonna leave this as bench texture test I'm gonna choose selected objects that's a good practice in case you got something else in the scene and you don't want to bring it out as well just the bench export now we're gonna jump over to substance painter let's bring that bench in file new I'm gonna choose 2k 2048 and select there's my FBX and okay there's my bench and it's come in with the materials that I selected or created in blender and that will allow me to um, put materials separately on the frame and on the seat before I do that I need to come over here to texture settings scroll down and bake mesh maps click on that I'm going to choose 2k and bake and let it do its thing uh, these maps will allow substance painter to figure out how to properly place the textures also depending on how well we've unwrapped it but remember we just let blender do it this doesn't work for all objects but it should work for a simple object like this now we look at our bench look for any weird artifacts or shadowing or shading issues looks okay so we're ready to go so let's come over here let's work on the frame click on layers there's a default layer already I'm just gonna get rid of that I'm gonna come over to smart materials I'm gonna choose wood and I'm going to use this wood beach veined I'm gonna drag it in now everybody that's used substance painter is gonna have this material and if you just leave it like that it's gonna look very generic so you can come into the folder here and you can start making adjustments like I might click there properties and come down and I might change the color and then make it darker like that and you know you can do all you know all of the adjustments you want to uh, on this but I'm not going to to bother to do too much I might do just a little bit so we'll uh, let's click the paint can here for a fill layer let's add a black mask and then let's right click and choose add generator and with the generator selected let's go to the properties of that generator it says no generator selected so let's click that and let's just click dirt okay and it'll throw on all this white stuff you can then scroll things down a little bit okay I like that and you can adjust how much grunge you want okay maybe I like that um, 
let's say we want to change the color come back to this main one here properties okay base color maybe we'll change that to a darker color all right maybe we'll go for that and uh, maybe I'll bring the roughness up and maybe actually I like the kind of like the lightest kind of color okay maybe we'll do another one and we'll add a black mask oh, we'll add a black mask again and maybe we'll come to smart masks this time and we'll search through this dirt splashes let's see what that's going to look like uh, let's try dirt dry let's throw it all over now I'm going to control Z that uh, dust occlusion yeah okay I kind of like that I kind of like the white let's leave it like that for now let's see if we like that let's work on and of course you know you could like you know put these in a folder and you can call this dirt one dirt two all right well you can mess around with these to your heart content and i would probably do that uh on my own not on camera um i'm just going to show you how this works so seat okay so uh, we got the default let's get rid of the default let's go back to the smart materials wood I'm going to put that same wood on so it looks like that we'll do the same kind of thing with the color we'll drop the color down here so it kind of matches it could be a little off because they're separate pieces of wood okay good enough now our big challenge here let's close that up is to create the planks well it's not going to be too hard um let's um create another fill layer by clicking there let's create black mask all right, so we don't really see any effects at all on that. And I'm going to add a generator. You can either right click or you can click here, add generator. And on the generator, I'm going to choose, I'm going to search for bricks or just brick. I'm going to choose this brick generator right here. All right, so I've chosen that. But I'm going to come, yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. All right, uh, here under pattern, I'm going to slide the Y to 0 or 1 and I'm going to start bringing up the X until I start seeing my lines. I'm going to try that. We can uh, put the Y bevel to 0 or the lowest value we can get. And this one I can adjust like this. We'll try that. And let's go back to the layers to the main part on properties and let's only have height let's alt click on height and then let's slide this down and go right down to the bottom now I want to adjust my lighting Okay, let's leave it there and let's go back to the brick generator to the properties you can adjust the histogram position number of bricks okay I've got a line there so we're gonna work on that let's look at the bevel Let's, let's have a look at this gap. That'll open it up or close it. And let's try offset variation and just see if this is gonna help us a little bit. I don't have one there, do I have one on top? I probably do now. So you can play with this. Don't have one there. Oh, and I don't have one there. Good, 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 good. I like that. Okay, let's uh, add a fill layer. Okay, right click, black mask, and let's look for something else. Dirt dry. A little bit too crazy, eh? Oh, this. That looks nice too. 
you just get what you want or you come back to the frame and maybe I copy that layer and I paste it I'll get rid of that one okay I'll come in here All right, well, let's say you like that. Um, it's not exactly dark dirt, it's more like paint, all right, um, which I kind of like, but maybe we'll try and see what it looks like. Uh, the nice thing is that, uh, you know, even if I chose, say, red, you know, I don't like it, I can, I can just go back to the original color like that. All right, anyways, uh, you play with that, but we've, we've got our wood planks, we've got this. Now what I can do is want to show you, I'll press the tab button and um, under display here, uh, you can turn up your environment if you want or down. I like to play around with this activate color profile. I like this uh, film noir and uh, just move the light around. And if it looks uh, jagged in this display, you can also come down and um, activate temporal anti-aliasing, and it'll look it'll look a little nicer uh, here. So you know, <laughs> let's say that's let's say that's okay. You know, you could you could play with uh, with these values in here. Uh, let's say that's okay though for us. Let's get out of that. I don't need that right now or that. Okay. Yeah. Tab button to go back. Let's go back to uh, here. And let, this is planks. Just mess around with it until you get um, you get what you are looking for let's say that's what I want all right I'm going to file export textures and choose a directory for these Let's just have a look at what it's made. Bench texture test, frame, and seat. Press export. Back to Blender. Let's go to the shading tab. And let's choose the seat. We have the seat material. Click on the principal BSDF. And as long as you've got the Node Wrangler enabled, uh, you can just shift control T and find your textures this is the seat so I'm gonna click on this one shift and click on the last one principal texture setup and it'll throw it on and let's select the frame and the principal BSDF shift control T let's select all the frame textures and that comes on let's go back to layout and look dev and I've got the textures on there I just wanted something that's gonna go into the scene that's gonna look okay uh, and 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 that does to my eye uh, and it's very simple to do okay so thanks for watching and see you in the next video